So now we will be looking into the Lloyd's Max algorithm. The Lloyd's Max algorithm is an optimized uh, quantization technique. The way it works is that it is an iterative and error correcting algorithm. That's very important to remember. It has four steps and we shall be looking into the four steps over here. The first step is that you choose an arbitrary m, m being the number of intervals for you to expand for the signal. The second step is this is where exactly the iterative aspect of the say, like the algorithm kicks in. The second step is where you choose for each iteration, you're choosing, you're first of all looking at the boundary of the interval. So for instance, this is your interval. You have uh, bj to be the first and bj plus one to be the edge of your interval. What you're essentially doing is that you're taking the midpoint of this particular interval to be your representation point. Now if you recall, this is exactly the same step as was in the uniform quantization technique. But this is where it actually gets different. Because in the Lloyd's algorithm, you're also keeping track of the mean squared error. What is the mean squared error? It is nothing but the distance between the, the difference between the error uh, between um, the different points that you could take within that interval itself to give you a more accurate answer. <coughs> the way it works is that you have a certain probability density function of where a signal is more populated, where it can provide you with more information and the most particularly important representation point within that interval will be where your signal is the most heavily populated. So for instance, if my signal is like that, and then like that, I would rather have my representation point somewhere over here than somewhere over here. So essentially we are keeping a track of the mean squared error and we want to minimize it as much as possible. Hence we move on to the third step where we are actually calculating the mean squared error and up until the point it is not negligible or as close to zero, we keep looping over and over again till we actually get the most uh, uh, optimum point within an interval to choose the mean squared error. And that's how the Lloyd's Max algorithm works. Thank you.